Hey people, it's Nyan's talking. This is from The Guardian. So, it says, Animals shape-shifting in response to climate crisis, researchers find. Warm-blooded animals are changing beaks, legs and ears to adapt to hotter climate and better regulate the temperature. Animals are increasingly shape-shifting because of the climate crisis, researchers have said. Warm-blooded animals are changing their physiology to adapt to a hotter climate, the scientists found. This includes getting larger beaks, legs and ears to better regulate their body temperature. When animals overheat, birds use their beaks and mammals use their ears to disperse the warmth. Some creatures in warmer climates have historically evolved to have larger beaks or ears to get rid of heat more easily. These differences are becoming more pronounced as the climate warms. If animals fail to control their body temperature, they can overheat and die. Beaks which are not covered by feathers and therefore not insulated are a site of significant heat exchange, as are ears, tails and legs in mammals if not covered by fur. The author of the study, Sarah Riding of Deakin University, a bird researcher, said, Shape-shifting does not mean that animals are coping with climate change and that all was fine. It just means they're evolving to survive it. But we're not sure what the other ecological consequences of these changes are, or indeed that all species are capable of changing and surviving. While scientists say it's difficult to pinpoint climate breakdown as the sole cause of the shape-shifting, it's, it is what the instances studied have in common across geographical regions and across a diverse array of species. Examples include several species of Australian parrot that have shown a 4 to 10 percent increase in bill size since 1871, positively correlated with the summer temperature each year. Meanwhile, research on the North American <coughs> dark-eyed juncos, a type of small songbird, showed a link between increased bill size and short-term temperature in extremely cold environments. Researchers have also reported tail length increases in wood mice and tail length leg size increases in mast shoes. Bats in warm climates were shown to have increased wing size. The paper argues that shape-shifting is more likely to continue as the climate becomes warmer. It reads, the increased temperature associated with climate change are likely to influence, among other things, the firmer regulatory demands placed on animals. The increasing temperatures experienced as part of climate change may be selected for larger appendages that facilitate efficient heat dissipation or result in relaxation of selection for small appendages for which body heat could be deleteriously lost in cold climates. Though the changes are small, writing said that could change as the planet becomes hotter. The increase in appendage size we see so far are quite small, less than 10%, so the changes are unlikely to be immediately noticeable, she said. However, prominent appendages such as ears are predicted to increase, so we might end up with a live-action Dumbo in the not-so-distant future. Ryan, writing tends to, invest, intends to investigate shape-shifting in Australian birds firsthand by 3D scanning museum bird specimens for the past 100 years to see which ch- birds are changing appendage size to climate change. A lot of time when climate change is discussed in mainstream media, people are asking, can humans overcome this, or what technology can solve this? It's high time to recognize that animals also have to adapt to these changes, but this is occurring over a far shorter time scale than would have occurred for most of evolutionary times of writing. The climate change that we have created is heaping a whole lot of pressure on them, and while some species adapt, others will not. It's unclear whether these changes will affect the animals in other ways. For example, bill, bigger bills could example could affect how birds feed, something the scientists plan to research in future work. Please comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.